Alrighty, so I have another really cool video for you guys today. I'm gonna do my list of the top five coasters I think are gonna come to Cedar Point um, for their next coaster, and then maybe even after the next coaster. I'm gonna stress before I get into this video, all the coasters I'm about to go through are probably not gonna happen. There's probably maybe one or two on this list that are really possible. The first two are out of this world and most likely not gonna happen, but it's really difficult. When I sat down with my pen and paper and I was like, well, what could Cedar Point be thinking in the future? Now, with that in mind, I'm not gonna touch on kids' coasters. If there's a kid coaster coming to Cedar Point, that's not a part of this list. This is massive coasters. Um, and their possibilities of coming to Cedar Point. So this list is not like, oh, excluding if there's a B&M family invert coming or a junior something coaster coming to Cedar Point. This is just my top five massive coasters that could possibly be coming to Cedar Point next, ranked from least likely to most likely. But um, as I said, very difficult list to come up with. The coasters, the first two, very unlikely, except for maybe the, the second one in. That's, that has a small chance, but not anytime soon. Um, I think the top three are the ones that really count. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to comment down below which you think is most likely. So comment down below which coaster you think could be coming to Cedar Point next. It doesn't mean 2020, 21, 22, 23, just whatever the next coaster is, what do you think is coming? Anyways, I'm gonna get right into it. So coming in at number five is somewhat of a meme. The Polar Coaster. Could a Polar Coaster be coming to Cedar Point as their next coaster? My honest answer, absolutely not. A Polar Coaster is not coming to Cedar Point as the next coaster um, in 2020, 2021, 22. Whatever that year is, it's not gonna be next. If they were to get a Polar Coaster, it's way along down the line, um, not anytime soon. And I honestly couldn't give you an exact year or a prediction for when a Polar Coaster could come, but Cedar Point is nowhere near needing a Polar Coaster. There's so many other models out there that the park needs before they even start thinking about um, a project that is having so much difficulty even taking off in Orlando to start here in Ohio. Um, so if Orlando can't get that project off the, the ground or Florida can't get that project off the ground, sorry, um, I have a small feeling Cedar Point will have difficulty getting that project done as well. And there's so many more better options for them than going that big. Again, they did that with Steel Vengeance. They went really big. So coasters moving forward are going to be very difficult to please people because people are looking up to Steel Vengeance as this amazing coaster as it is. And the Polar Coaster would be a very similar situation. You build a Polar Coaster, you're really putting yourself in a tough corner to beat. Um, so I think <laughs> a Polar Coaster is very unlikely. I know I had to put it on this list though because some people in the coaster community really think a Polar Coaster is possible and it really just isn't possible yet. Um, so I <laughs> just wanted to go over that quickly. Um, hopefully I didn't offend anyone that thinks the Polar Coaster is coming to Cedar Point, but it's definitely not um, an option in my opinion. Um, again, take whatever I say uh, with a grain of salt. I do not know the future of Cedar Point. I don't have inside information about what's coming to Cedar Point. Um, I'm just going off of kind of like my opinions, kind of information I know from the stockholders calls and any business analytics that I have access to. Um, so coming in at number four, um, the Strata T-Rex coaster. Now this one is kind of unlikely, but also kind of likely at the same time. I don't think it's going to be happening anytime soon. I don't think it's the next coaster. I also know the T-Rex model isn't exactly ready from what I understand, or they're not ready for sale because the um, Rocky Mountain Construction is working on selling the um, Raptor model, not the T-Rexes yet. And they don't want to take away from the Raptor model sales by starting the T-Rex sales. In my opinion, I don't really get that mindset, but that's what I hear the company has said. Um, but yeah, I don't think they're ready for sale yet. I don't think Cedar Point has the land or the room or the, uh, the energy, I guess I'll say, uh, to start a project like that quite yet. It might be the second, third or fourth coaster down the line. Maybe in the next 10 years, we might see a Strata T-Rex coaster, maybe 400, 500 feet, whatever it is. I've heard those coasters can actually get quite tall. Um, 
So that being said, the Strata T-Rex coaster is a very popular opinion online. I hear it a lot. People are seeing the 400 foot tall lift hill um, Strata coaster along the beach, replacing Magnum. Again, I am one of those people that say Magnum is not going anywhere. You're not gonna see Magnum disappear. I think it's an awesome coaster. I think it's super underrated. And I wish you guys just gave it a little more of a, a chance <laughs> in your hearts. Um, but uh, who knows, a Strata T-Rex coaster could be down the line for Cedar Point, but I don't think it's going to be the next coaster. That's why I have it at the number four spot. Um, so in my personal opinion, a Strata T-Rex coaster is not very likely for Cedar Point. There's other options that we're about to get into that I really think can fit the park's needs before these two coasters are even an option. So that brings me to option number three, the mock spinning coaster. Um, so the mock spinning coaster is very possible. This is a um, kind of like a, a coaster model that we've talked about in our Discord server with people. Um, I, I don't hear this rumor online a lot actually at all, and I don't think it's a very popular rumor, but I think a mock spinning coaster would do the park's wonders. Now, that brings you into a conversation of, is it going to be a family mock spinning coaster, or is it gonna be a high thrill mock spinning coaster? Um, I really would like to see the more high thrill side of it. I think you can mix family and high thrill together at the same time, um, and I would love to see that. Uh, Silver Dollar City, I think, did that really well. You got a really high thrill attraction. I think, again, correct me down below if I'm wrong, but they still considered a family coaster, so that's a nice blend. Um, and I would love to see Cedar Point pull off something really massive in terms of the mock spinning coaster. And I would love to see, again, a family high thrill mix together. I think that would do Cedar Point really well, and they need to draw families in as well, because Cedar Point is definitely that high thrill park, and they need to start building things that bring in families and younger crowds to help with those attendance boosts when they're building a new attraction. Now, in terms of where I think the mock spinning coaster could potentially go, I definitely think it would probably head on over into the frontier side of the park, maybe Forbidden Frontier area of the park would be a good option for it. I can't really see one fitting in anywhere else um, in the park currently. I would have to see kind of like construction as it happens, but currently in my mind, I can't picture a better location other than Frontier and Forbidden Frontier for a mock spinning coaster. Now this brings me into option number two, a GCI Woody. Now these two are quick. The number two spot and the number one spot are very difficult. Um, a lot of people say the park really needs that wooden coaster because Steel Vengeance um, took over Mean Streak, and I definitely agree with that. I think a GCI Woody is definitely in the park's future in the next 10 years. It's almost like a for sure, in my opinion, you're gonna see one, and it's gonna be a world record of some sort, or it's gonna pull off some amazing elements if it's not gonna be a world record, because um, I know Beast is a hard coaster to take world records from, and then there's other wooden coasters like Voyage that are epic as well, and El Toro. Um, even though um, it's in the Six Flags chain, but I definitely see an awesome world record GCI Woody of some sort coming to Cedar Point at some point. Um, I don't have a year. I, I'm gonna guess either the next coaster Cedar Point's getting is either gonna be a family coaster, like I said at the beginning of the video, or it's gonna be one of these two options, uh, number two spot or number one. So my second most likely coaster to come to Cedar Point next is definitely a GCI Woody. I think it would do the park's wonder. Now coming in at number one, my favorite coaster type in the world. You're all gonna roll your eyes, I totally understand, but the B&M Flyer. I think this would do Cedar Point absolute wonders. I think Cedar Point could break some serious records with an awesome B&M Flyer. Uh, the records out there for B&M Flyers aren't that epic and they're not, not, not that hard to beat. And I think Cedar Point can really come in and uh, show the world what a real a real B&M Flyer can do. And I'm really excited for it because I honestly think this is extremely likely. And I would love to see elements like on Tatsu at uh, Magic Mountain. I would love to see that really large pretzel loop. I would love to see like flying dinosaur elements um, and the Chinese and Japanese, or the Chinese uh, flying coasters. I think those are done really well. And I would love to see kind of like a mix of Tatsu and those uh, overseas flying coasters. Anyways, comment down below what you guys think is most likely to come to Cedar Point next coaster wise. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a good one. Bye.